change and life experience really makes a huge difference. I think we've all wondered for years just exactly how Mary Brown makes money. I mean, look at all the crazy expenses she has. She has her huge rental house in Flagstaff and her B&B in Parowan, and she's constantly traveling. Obviously, we know that she makes money from sister wives, but do you know the dark truth behind her LuLaRoe income? It's honestly insane how much she's hidden about her quote unquote second job, and you won't believe just how shady it really is. Mary has been on Sister Wives ever since it first premiered on TLC in 2010. I don't think anyone is surprised that after 17 seasons, the show provides a big source of income for the Brown family. And if Cody and the four wives split the money equally, that means Mary is currently bringing in about $10,000 per episode. But after revealing that she and Cody were no longer together in December, Mary's financial situation could actually be facing a lot of uncertainty right now. Lately, there have been some rumors going around about Mary possibly leaving the show. This hasn't been confirmed yet, but it does feel possible. Some of the Sister Wives cast members have already confirmed that they've been filming for season 18. But that might not be the case for Mary, believe it or not. Considering the fact that Robin is now the only remaining sister wife, I wonder if Mary has maybe distanced herself from Cody and the family series completely. After all, she was basically on her own for the last several years and didn't have many ties to the other wives. But if she actually does quit the show, she will be losing out on a seriously insane amount of money. Mary most likely makes about $180,000 per season, which isn't exactly pocket change. But to tell you the truth, I think she could still support herself without the show. She has a few different income streams besides sister wives, and one of her most profitable side gigs is honestly unbelievable. Mary has been a successful salesperson for LuLaRoe since 2016. The clothing company is controversial because of its multi-level marketing setup, but there's no denying that Mary makes bank from it. She's been consistently selling for the company, despite the accusations about it being a pyramid scheme. I don't think that it's any secret that she uses her TLC following and fame to make the majority of her sales. And when it comes to the amount of money that she makes from LuLaRoe, the estimated total is absolutely shocking. According to the Glassdoor website, a LuLaRoe trainer, which is what Mary currently is, makes an average total salary of $83,000. I feel like Mary makes more sales than normal though, and the highest selling trainers can apparently earn around $147,000 each year. Mary spends a lot of her time selling the clothes on her website, and she represents the brand basically all of the time on social media. And apparently having the platform she does is working out extremely well for her. Aside from having her own website for LuLaRoe, Mary also has a private Facebook group for her sales, and the group actually has over 107,000 members. She does live streams to showcase different clothing in the group, which I'm sure is a major boost for her numbers. The live videos are sometimes over an hour long, and Mary makes a ton of sales during each one. And it turns out the consistent sales and dedication to the company can pay off in an unreal way. The official leadership compensation plan from LuLaRoe lists different sales requirements and amounts of money that consultants can make, and honestly, I'm blown away. Apparently, remaining at the ambassador level for three consecutive months will give a consultant a whopping one-time payout of $500,000. And as I'm sure you've probably already guessed, Mary most likely earned way more than that. Not even two full years after starting with LuLaRoe, Mary claimed to be a company ambassador. And based on how steadily she meets sales goals, I wouldn't be surprised if she's earned many bonuses with the company over the years. Not to mention she regularly meets the criteria for LuLaRoe's annual cruise reward, and that's definitely not a small goal. The total amount in sales Mary must be meeting each year is seriously outrageous. The first cruise that Mary was rewarded with in 2017 had a target goal of earning $12,000 a month for four consecutive months. I think it's crazy that she met the goals almost right away, but that just goes to show that she's probably making way more than a lot of people realize. I mean, even if Mary met the original amount and maintained it throughout the year, that would give her a starting salary of $144,000. But obviously, since she's climbed the company ladder pretty quickly, she's probably bringing in even more than that. Not to mention she gets to travel around the world, which is just another incentive. But that's not her only high earning side hustle. Mary also started her own bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn in 2017. The B&B is located in Parowan, Utah, and has been highly rated in countless reviews online. I can't believe that according to the online booking service on the B&B's website, it's almost always booked. And considering what the nightly rates are, Mary is clearly raking in a ton of extra cash from her bed and breakfast. This is honestly insane. Out of the four separate rooms that can be reserved at Lizzie's Heritage Inn, the cost per night ranges from $250 to $300. Just from a couple of years ago, that's gone up by over $100 a night. I know the reservations include a home-cooked breakfast, but still. I guess Mary knows what she's doing with the rates though, since the rooms are almost always booked. And now that up to two dogs are allowed per reservation, that potentially increases the rate by $50 for each dog. But simply having people staying over at the B&B is far from the only way it provides an income for Mary. You'll never guess how else she profits from the business. Mary also sells a variety of in-related merchandise on the B&B's website. There are dish towels, coasters, and more for sale, and the cost for the items range from $13 to $30. I'm sure she doesn't exactly earn a fortune by selling the merch, but every little bit adds up. Not that Mary 
Mary would really need to rely on selling coffee mugs anyway, considering how else the B&B is cushioning her income lately. Mary just recently completed her second retreat at the B&B, and I think it's safe to say that she made a ridiculous amount of money from it. But just like her first retreat in the fall, she caught a lot of heat for how expensive the costs were. And I have to admit, the price for spending four days at the special B&B event was definitely extreme. The first retreat ranged from $4,500 to $6,400, which Mary's critics absolutely slammed her for. Even though the more expensive packages included bonding time with Mary herself, a lot of people couldn't believe that she was marketing the event at such a high rate. Maybe that's why she decreased the range slightly. The recent February retreat cost from $4,000 to $6,000. But either way, both events totally sold out, which must have led to a jaw-dropping paycheck. Based on the photos Mary shared from the event, there were seven or eight people who attended the retreat in November. I seriously can't believe what that meant for her finances. In just four days, Mary made anywhere from $31,500 to $51,200. And three months later, she did it all over again. Just from the regular B&B season alone, I feel like Mary must be doing really well for herself. But when you include what she makes from the retreats, it's unbelievable. Astonishingly, Mary has yet another way she brings in money on the side. She also has a Cameo account online where she charges a surprising amount for a personalized video message. As bizarre as it sounds, one of Mary's personalized videos will cost you $150. But her Cameo profile has a lot of positive reviews and she seemingly sold multiple videos despite raising the price recently. Mary's Cameos are by far the most expensive of the Brown family members who are also using the website. It's wild to me that for a video that's only slightly over a minute long on average, Mary can make an instant $150. And for a business video, that's a whole different story. It will run someone $420 for a business video, believe it or not. Although that may seem like a ridiculously expensive message, apparently there are people who don't mind paying for it. It's safe to say that even if she didn't have the income from sister wives, Mary wouldn't exactly be hurting financially. Not only would she easily be able to support herself without the money from the show, but she would still have a six-figure income, which is pretty crazy to think about. But what do you guys think? Are you surprised by how much money Mary makes even without factoring in her TLC paycheck? What are your thoughts on the high-priced retreats she's been hosting at her bed and breakfast? Let me know in the comments below.